Here's the third of the uh, Safari Limited 2017 Prehistoric Life figures, which is the Title Source. Now this thing is a pretty large figure, about like nine inches long, much bigger than I anticipated. And and of course this replaces the old Carnegie one, which is actually one of my favorite figures from that line. But this thing is actually an improvement in terms of like detail, sculpt, and accuracy, because it has a tail fluke. And also not to mention, in the mouth it's got the back teeth and actually the snake-like tongue, which most Mosasaur figures forget. See so that head sculpt right here. And sadly, this thing isn't available on Amazon, Amazon yet. It's on e it's like currently on eBay, but I got off topic a little bit, so let's go back to the head sculpt right here. It's really nice. And the mouth is open so widely that it can... Uh, clamp its jaws around any other of your dinosaur figures and there is like a lot of detailing on here like a lot of tiny scales but it doesn't feel as scaly as I expected but I think it's better than the smooth lack of detail skin that some other marine reptile figures has and you can actually see the bony fingers in its uh, flippers right here and the bottom is just like a creamy white color Titlosaurus 2017 and it's got the uh, cloaca there and the tail is a little bit curved so I guess it's in a swimming posture about to uh, clamp its jaws around the dolly current cops or his effectiveness or something and this is like I believe one of my favorite figures from the 2017 lineup but one thing that that I don't like about this figure is the color scheme because most pop culture pop culture depictions or even other figures of Mosasaurus, you see that they have like dark skin on the top then like a light skin on the bottom. But I don't think this uh, Mosasaur would camouflage well in this environment because uh, its prey might see it so it'll swim away. But I actually like the color scheme on this one. It's quite similar to the original Carnegie figure. I have to say, in terms of proportions, the head is a little bit big. But I think that's supposed to be okay because I think that's just a minor mistake. See, the top view of him, his head is slightly curved, and his two nostrils there. And you can find this thing for like a good price. I got mine for like ten dollars. It's a good deal for a pretty large figure. So let's start with the comparisons right now. So first up, we have the the figure that I replaced, the Carnegie Tylosaurus, which is which just dwarfs the newer one, but. The, I think the newer one is far superior, but I think this one kind of has a better paint job than that one, though. Next up, we have two more Tylosauruses, the Geo World and Collective one, and the Safari one is easily superior to these two, so I believe this is the best Tylosaurus figure out there, but not the best Mosasaur. Next up, we have three Mosasaur Mosasauruses here which is Carnegie, GeoWorld, and Wild Safari. And once again, the 2017 Tylosaurus easily tops these three Mosasauruses. And next up we have the... Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Can't wait to fill over a little bit. The Jurassic World Mosasaurus. So I guess the Mosasaurus knocked over the camera. <laughs> and once again, no comparison between these two because this is a pretty bad representation of the Mosasaurus. And here's next to probably the best Mosasaur figure out Mosasaur figure out there. And I guess these two are almost the same size and almost the equal amount of goodness, but I think the collective one is slightly better because of the paint job. And here's next to other creatures of the uh, Western interior seaway. Yes, I can't wait for that collective sea life too, mostly because of that this effect in this figure. And I see, I think the title source is pretty w accurately scaled to one another, except the Cretoxyrhina, because I believe Cretoxyrhina is supposed to be like slightly larger. But seeing works really well, and also see how how well the jaws fit around this Cretoxyrhina. And the last sea creature up is the Schleich Dunkleosteus, which is. Uh, Roughly the same length, but the the dunkle is pretty is like real uh, way bigger. And as you can see, I think I still think this figure is better. 
Because if this thing had a better paint job, that thing it might be just as good as this. And last but not least, RD2 Wild Safari uh, 2017 figures, the T-Rex and the Coelophysis. And obviously not to scale each other. See, because like, Tylosaurus is too small compared to T-Rex and Coelophysis is way too large. But pick, I recommend you picking up all these figures along with the rest of the 2017 Safari models because they're all fantastic. So yeah, this is it for this review. So, um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, mostly because the sculpt, probably the best Tylosaurus figure out there. The paint job could have been better, but still pretty cool. Look for it on eBay because it's not on Amazon yet, or buy it from safarilimited.com. So, if you haven't already picked it up, pick it up right now. Because I think this, also this is the second review of this figure. And the next figure I'll probably be getting is either the Safari Limited 2017 Mako Shark or the Collective Dolly Crinkops. Not sure which one I'm going to buy, but you'll see in the future. So, if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.